Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is the Stuffed Meatball Sandwich. Well today we're gonna to be making some Italian style meatballs from scratch that are stuffed with mozzarella and smoked on the yoder. We're also gonna to put together a San Marzano tomato sauce to go with it, bring it all together on a ciabatta bun. So we're gonna start by making these meatballs and the first thing we're gonna do is add in some hot Italian sausage. We're also going to do ground beef. So we're going 50-50 ground beef and pork sausage. I've also got some Parmesan cheese. We need a little binder in the form of bread crumbs, as well as one egg. And then we've got our seasonings. So we're going to use the Cattleman's Grill Italiano, about one tablespoon of that. And then we're gonna mince down about a quarter cup of Italian parsley and a couple tablespoons of garlic. So our garlic, we're gonna smash these down, get them peeled, and then mince them up nice and fine. Once we get this garlic broke down, you can kind of smash it to make the process go a little bit quicker because we really want this to be pretty fine. So we're gonna put a couple tablespoons of that here in our meatballs and save the rest for our sauce. And then last thing here, we're gonna do about a quarter cup of the parsley. And that quarter cup is really once you've got it minced down. I know that's kind of a rough estimation because especially with this curly parsley that we're using, that looks like a lot more than a quarter cup. But when you smash it down, point is, don't worry about it too much. So this is gonna go now on the KitchenAid with the paddle attachment, we just want to try and get that primary bind going. Because it's the primary bind that gives us that sausage texture. So just kind of over a, a medium speed here, we're gonna beat this until all of these ingredients start to stick together and get tacky. So that's like 45 to 60 seconds right there. And man, even raw, you can already smell all the Italian herbs and spices coming out of this. So when we check for the doneness on the primary bind here, we just kind of want to grab a big piece of this and pick it up by the top and see if it's mostly holding together. It takes a while to fall apart. It should feel sticky and tacky on the surface, and that's what we're looking for. So our sausage, we're going to scale out into two ounce portions. Right now, we don't need to form these at all because we are going to be stuffing them with mozzarella here in a little bit. So I'm gonna do this about 20 times and we'll be right back. Now we've got the mozzarella we're gonna be stuffing our, our meatballs with and this is a low moisture mozzarella which is kind of important in this recipe. The fresh mozzarella is delicious and great on pizzas but uh, would add a little bit too much moisture to our meatballs. So we're gonna divide our eight ounces into 20 portions. Let's just kind of score this off. We'll go four by five here. So we're just gonna take each portion here, place a mozzarella cube in the middle, fully enclose it, and then just kind of roll this into a meatball shape. Obviously you don't want any of that mozzarella exposed. Gonna try and pack that meat around it too. So, I'm gonna try and handle these as minimally as possible so we're not melting any of the fat uh, in the meatballs. We don't want that stuff to just melt out immediately. In fact, here in a moment when we finish forming all these meatballs, I'm going to throw these into the refrigerator so they can chill down just a little bit before we sear them off and then smoke them. All right, so we got our 20 meatballs done and I'm realizing that I cut my meatball recipe in half, but did not cut my cheese recipe in half, so you only need four ounces for the 20 meatballs. 
So the meatballs have been chilling out while we do a little cleanup and transition here. Uh, I'm gonna prep some of the veg for our tomato sauce now. But before we make the tomato sauce, we're gonna bring those meatballs back out here and sear them in our Dutch oven so that we can create a little fond on the bottom of that pan that really adds a lot of flavor. At the same time, we can use the fat that comes out of the meatballs during that sear uh, to cook our veggies in and get our sauce going. Then we're gonna transfer those meatballs to the smoker because we're not gonna have them fully cooked. We really just wanna get some color on the outside to add some texture to them to really create that depth of flavor. Then they're gonna soak up the smoke, the sauce is gonna come together, and we're gonna bring it all together on a bun in the end. That's kind of a roadmap of where we're headed. So for now, let's finish prepping out the veggies and then we'll get into the meatballs. So we're gonna need about one cup of yellow onion, diced up. Sauce shouldn't be super fine, it can be fairly rustic. We're gonna go for a smallish dice. So one cup should come out to about there. Now the garlic we've already got minced up from earlier, so we're gonna move into some of these herbs that are gonna go in the sauce toward the end of the cook. So we've got some basil here. This is like a just a half ounce bunch. Um, come out to a couple tablespoons minced up. The easiest way to, to slice up or mince up some basil is really to start with like that chiffonade method where you get your biggest leaf on, leaf on the outside and roll it up. And then we're gonna slice right through the herb, working our way down, turn things around and slice once again. That's all we need. We slide the knife through the herb, trying not to damage those oils. That the, Those oils, that they really release the fragrance uh, either now onto the cutting board or into your sauce. So the, uh, the less that you can damage the herb as far as slicing through rather than smashing down, the better. And then we're also gonna do some just Italian parsley here. Get rid, get rid of some of those thick stems. I don't mind a little bit of stem in there, but we don't want the really thick ones. We'll mince this down to about a quarter cup. All right, well, we've got our Dutch oven preheating over the induction burner over like a medium high heat right now. We don't want our meatballs to get scorched, but we do want a nice sear on them. So we're gonna kind of work in that medium to medium high area. And we're gonna do this in batches. We don't wanna overcrowd this because we wanna make sure we get plenty of browning going on. And what you'll see here is as it browns, it's gonna leave some of that goodness behind and some of that fat's gonna come out for us to cook our veggies in. I can already tell you I wanna bring my heat down a little bit. So you take a look at this, that's a little darker than what we want. And that's probably just because this is the first batch and the, the pan's really hot starting out. But we're gonna reduce that heat down just a little bit so that we get a nice browning sear rather than getting too much char on there because we don't wanna add bitterness. We do want to add flavor, but not that flavor. So getting that nice crust on the outside, that's what we're looking for. We're not looking to cook these through. And they're certainly not done cooking, which is why we can throw them right back here on the same sheet pan. So we're just gonna keep rolling these through here until we've got all of our meatballs seared. So this one right here is like, that's pretty much ideal. That coloring right there, that kind of sear, it's not too dark, not too light. That creates a lot of flavor. So today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. We're running it at 225 degrees, nice and low and slow. We want these things to have enough time to really soak up the smoke before they're fully cooked. So these are gonna go directly onto the grill grate for that maximum smoke exposure. Give them a little bit of space and we'll close that up. So there's all that delicious fond that we talked about developing with the searing and of course some of that meatball fat. We're gonna add in our onions. Just a little bit more of our Italiano seasoning, another tablespoon or so. And we're gonna sweat these onions down until they're translucent, just kind of stirring occasionally and uh, scraping up some of that fond to add all that flavor into our sauce. So those onions have softened now. You can see we've gotten up most of that fond off the bottom. Now we're gonna add in our garlic. 
And if you want to add just a little extra heat, you can add in some red chili flakes. And that garlic we're just going to cook for about 30, well, probably about 60 seconds here over this lowish heat, just to kind of wake up all those aromas. And you're going to start to smell it. And you'll know that that's when it's time to add the tomatoes. So we're going to come in with our San Marzanos here. We've got the whole tomato going on, so we want to break those up just a little bit. Also going to add in a bit of pesto for that herby punch. So for now, I just want to break these up. We're going to bring everything up to a simmer, and then we'll go let it sit on the smoker with the meatballs. So we are going to land this right underneath our meatballs. Oh, you, you can see these guys are sweating now. A little bit of that cheese coming out. That's okay. It's going to happen. But by putting this sauce right underneath here, not only are we getting the direct heat from underneath in the fire, we're also going to get that fat that drips off the meatballs into the sauce. Well, our meatballs have been smoking away for about an hour and a half now, and they're reached the, around 155 on the internal temperature. And when we talk about the internal temperature, we're talking about right on the inside of where the meat is. Not dead center in the cheese, but we want that meat up around 155. So at this point, they're not fully done cooking, but we're going to let them finish in the sauce because they've had plenty of time to form that nice crust on the outside to get plenty of smoke on them. So what we're going to do is put them in our red sauce here and crank the temp up to 400 degrees. We'll get this sauce simmering away and toast off some ciabatta buns. At the same time, we're also going to add those fresh herbs that we minced up earlier, our parsley and our basil. So while that grill's coming up to temp, we're just going to prep our ciabatta buns to go on the grill. So we're going to start with some of our olive oil, the Olitalia designed to pair with meat. And we're going to brush this right onto our ciabatta. So that sauce is simmering away now. And we're going to come right in here with our buns. Get a good toast on those. So now we're going to take our bottom buns and get those flipped over now that they're nice and toasty. And we're going to top them with some provolone cheese. So I love the bite of pesto and it works really great alongside that tomato sauce and then just like those fatty meatballs. Great combination. If you want to check out a pesto video, you can go check our, our how to make pesto. You don't want to make pesto, just buy some at the store. Cheese is looking good, so these are coming off. All right, well, let's get these things built. I'm going to line up some meatballs on top of the provolone. What do you think, five or six? Six. Six. Man, this smells incredible. That tomato sauce. I love that for a moment you forget they're also stuffed with cheese until you see that mozzarella oozing out of there. This is the meal that keeps on giving because you uh, cook up a little pasta for lunch tomorrow, you're going to have some sauce left over. Second meal. All right, so let's top it off with our ciabatta and the pesto. Boom, done. You know I love a good cross section, so let's see what this one looks like. Look at that. That mozzarella is ready to come out of there. Boom. All right, let's dig in. Mmm, look at that cheese stretch. That provolone is so funky, I love it. But man, the first thing you notice is the meatball. I mean, classic Italian meatball flavors. The cheese in the middle is pretty rad though. I mean, just to have that stuff ready there, 
oozing out. Nice and creamy in the middle. But dang, we got nice texture on the outside of these meatballs. And you get that from that sear starting out. That creates a lot of flavor, a lot of texture. And I love the ciabatta bun. As great as a sub sandwich is, a ciabatta bun can really hold up to all that sauce, all that meat, and all that cheese. But the flavors, that's where it's at. Crunchy and delicious. I don't have anything else. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.